Hey guys, how are we? Thank you for watching this video. I'm just here to let you know that I've actually passed the CISSP exam yesterday and uh, some of the tips that uh, that helped me actually pass this exam. I'm mainly talking about the mindset that more of that more of the resources. Uh, yeah, so my name is Sam and I've got about 14 years worth of experience in IT, uh, mainly a techie, um, which actually for this exam can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. I'll start with the disadvantage first. Um, being a techie, when you have a problem or when a problem is being discussed in this exam, you'd straight away go for the fixing the problem. However, being a manager, which is what this exam is all about, wants to wants you to fix the process first. Fixing the process fixes those problems. You need to hit the process first. Um, yes, that's an, that's that's actually a disadvantage. But I had to take I had to work on it for about a month initially to get into the CISSP mindset of how to think like a manager. The advantage of being in IT is certain certain uh, domains, it really helps you. Things like BCP, risk management, incident management, change management, what processes you do for those things, data life cycle, um, those kind of topics, it really helps you. You don't have to learn much in those areas. Um, yeah, so, so that's one of the advantages, but there are both disadvantage and advantage. Anyways, moving on, exam day. <laughs> What I'm going to talk next actually relates to this exam day. So in the exam day you go, you've got about 150 questions. Um, I reached about 100 and they told me to go. Um, and and they did, and I received my letter after I've, comp I've emptied my locker room, I've got out of the reception, I got this letter and the letter says, congratulations. But the point I'm trying to say here is, I received 100 questions out of which an easy 40 questions, I had no clue. Absolutely no clue. The words were tough, so it's so the words were tough, so I had to actually break those words down, the English words down to even understand what they're trying to say. Why am I saying this? The only reason why people still proceed to pass, even when pretty much half of the question you might not exactly understand what they're saying, is purely because of the five months or the six months worth of practice they do. They study their ex they study the books but they also do practice questions. So what happens, studying and practice questions will train your mind to think exactly how they want you to think. So you start looking for keywords, like, like I let me give an example, risk. Okay, so when they're talking about risk uh, in the question, that okay, you would then go, okay, what is my first thing? Okay, I need to go and find out what is the asset. Just an example. Okay, my asset and, and the risk is based on what my asset is and what am I protecting. So I can go into the very high level. So those kind of just small things, part of your practice, will really help you during the exam when you absolutely know nothing, but it talks about something about risk and there's something about high level about risk and what is the first step you do. So I hope it makes sense why uh, practice questions and studying and putting that hard work actually pays dividends in the exam. Um, about the resources, what I did, so before before that, I've done a five month, uh, uh, roughly it took me five months. The first main thing, the moment you decide you want to do CISSP, it is a brutal, hard and demanding time span. You need to speak to your partner and they need to be on board. You are going to have about 30 to, it took me about 40 hours, but it could be between 30 to 40 hours every week, easy. Bulk of those hours are on the weekends um, to actually sit and write this exam. To, sorry, not write the exam, to learn the concepts. This It's going to be testing. I, I started my studies in October. There was Christmas, there was the New Year's, and there was lots of uh, birthdays that I had to miss. Lots of, I lots of lots of other functions that I had to miss purely because I had to study for my exam. And the motivation of actually booking the exam is what made me stick to my plan. That's why book your exam, book your exam three to f at least five months down the track to make sure you keep motivated. Your family needs to be on board because five months of doing 40 hours without family support is not easy. So with, re with respect to resources, I started off like with everyone, the Cybex book, about 1,000 pages. Um, people said they've done two times, three times. I read it for, to be honest, it was really dry for me. So so I've read it just once. I've just marked it, lined, because it gives me that mental thing 
if I've completed the book, I've at least done something. So I just completed it. But like with everyone who says, the time you reach the eighth domain, you pretty much have forgotten completely of your first domain, second domain, third domain, which is normal, which is normal. So I just did. So my strategy was 15 pages every time I sit for, to do this course. So if, that's it. That's my time span. 15 pages. I've got a goal to reach. 15 pages. That's it. Thank you very much. And the next time I sit again to do my studies, I take another 15 pages. Managed to do this in at least one or two months. Um, and, and it's brutal. I, it's too dry. I marked it and that's about it. Um, one good thing, I forgot to say, one good thing with this is after every domain you have 20 questions, it gives you an idea once you take the 20 questions of what exactly have you learned and sharpen some of the things that you have learned. Once I've, once I've done that, I'm like, okay, I need something even better. I went and got a really good video series Cybury. I took a yearly subscription. Um, Cybury basically tells you, has, uh, Kelly Handahan has got a course there for, C, uh, for CSSP, gold, absolute gold, the way she's done it. It's a very broad idea of what it does. It's really good. Get, I got that done, and I then went and did Mohammed Atev's InfoSec 40C course um, um, on CSSP. Basically, he's more into technical. He tells you, for example, you've got a file. He tells you to install a software where you can then MD5 that file and just produce a hash and things like that. Also, ciphertext and um, all those kind of really good stuff. You can actually play and see how it, how it works. And uh, he also shows you how to run a, ne a Nexus scanner as well, vulnerability tool. So, kind of give you an idea of how things work uh, to put more perspective into your studies. So that's good from that part. Uh, Mohamed Atef also had 150 questions after every domain. So that kind of helps. It's really hard. So that kind of, to pass that 150 questions, you will need to understand the domains real well. So that's that, that's that. Those are the videos that I've done. After that is the gold practice questions. Cybex, again, has got their uh, say their official practice test. They have got about 800 questions here. The moment you do the 800 questions, you will be completely gutted because there's a lot that you will not know, and that's completely common. Um, so, so, so what 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 do you do is there, there's going to be things like, for example, SAML, PKI, symmetric, asymmetric, SDN, CDN, uh, things like that. So for those things. The videos might not be of help, so I go into YouTube. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm talking about the Atev's or Kelly Handhan's videos might not be of help. So in YouTube, Prabhnaya Coffee Shots, absolute gold. Prabhnaya's Coffee Shots, Andrew Ramdell CISSP series. He every week does one hour worth of certain topic discussion. Absolutely gold. Luke Ahmed goes without saying those videos. You start getting the ideas. Oh, that's how it fits. That's how it fits. As I said, always write everything down. I've got three books of writing things down. As you can see, I've got colors and I've got stuff like that. I've got colors and I've got everything that I keep writing, writing, writing. Um, writing and just trying to understand. Why? Because writing actually makes you memorize more. The act of writing makes you memorize more. Um, so once I've got those coffee shots, once I've got everything like that, I kind of started understanding the topic. Within the last one month of my exam, what I did is I went ahead and just got these two books. These are both for free, which is Prash uh, Prashant Mohan's Memory Palace and The Sunflower. You can download both of this for free. Um, this is just basically domain. This is the concept. That's the concept. That's the concept. Just one liners. Just refreshes what you have learned so far. This both is really good. I also then got Luke Ahmed's How to Think Like a Manager. 25 questions, absolute gold. You got to get it. It just makes you in that mindset of why this question is correct and mainly why those other three questions are not correct. So these three is your refreshers towards the last one month. The killer thing in the last one month, what I did is on top of all those practice exams I discussed, I've discussed to you uh, Cybex practice exams. I also did uh, Sean Harris's practice exams, about 100 questions roughly after every domain. I've gone and done that. I've said I've done Mohammed in uh, Mohammed uh, uh, Atef's InfoSec 40Cs questions. That's about 150 every uh, every domain. And then I've gone and also randomly picked and chosen roughly about 500 questions just to see how I gauge from different other sources. Finally, the 
last one month, I did something which is really good was I went and bought the boson exams. Why I took, see, none of these exams will remotely be anything that you will be facing in the CISP, but as I said, it gives you that mindset. Boson exams gave me the layout. So the layout of how you're doing boson exams is exactly how you do CISSP. So the moment you sit for your CISSP exams, you are already at ease. You're like, okay, this layout is good. You know, this is exactly how I faced with boson. So that's good. And then that gives you that one, one step ahead to do your next step to do your next question, sorry. So boson exams, I've done all those boson exams. They've got about 750 questions in that. You go and do that over the last one month. Over the last one week, now it's coming to the crunch. All what I've studied, I've just taken bullet points. So I'm just taking that book here, I'm just showing you. So everything that I've done here, for example, I've gone in the last 10 pages is just domain one. These are the points. Domain two, these are the points. Domain four, these are the points. And I've just gone and just done 10 to 20 pages. That's it, just 10 to 20 pages. And what happened is over the second, third last day, I just read that 20 pages, that's it. Done, dusted, I've just got two more days remaining. Last day, I've just, sorry, third last day, just done the pages. Second last day, nothing, zilch. The day before the exam, zilch. If you couldn't practice and do things in that five months, I'm not gonna do anything in the last day. You need to free your mind. I, I don't live in the downtown, so I had to drive down downtown and I just was with a friend and we spoke, we had dinner, uh, just watched a movie and things like that. The next day, the next day is my exam. So the day before, completely nothing. The day I woke up, my exam was at 11. I got, woke up at about eight. In that last one hour, I went and did that 20 pages that I mentioned. I just went to the 20 pages. That's perfect. Got ready, got shower, got ready. And on the train, just for the 10 minutes, I just went and skimmed through. Just what, what they call as a memory snapshot. Just did a quick snapshot of Memory Palace. I was already spent. I was completely tired. I was really exhausted. I just want to go and get it done. So, uh, got done that, that, went to the exams. And like I said, rest is history. Went to exams. Uh, I forgot to say something else. Um, it, this being a CAT exam, the moment they find out um, you have made a mistake, the next question will roughly be the same. So this exam is not only just technical, but it also tests your mindset. So um, I do a bit of meditation. I already knew that this was the case, so I was already expecting it, so it is okay. But doing meditation helped as well because meditation mainly tells you or teaches you what is done is already done you can't go and change it what's in the future is called worry you're not you can't go and change it what you can change is just your present be present what you have in front of you is all what you can control so just do the things that you can control and that help that particular meditation and already me reading lots and lots of people's experience and the videos of how people passed have actually prepped me to know okay uh, they will hit me on things uh, that I am weak on, and that's completely expected. Um, yeah, so 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 these are my experiences from the exam. The exam is really good. More than, as I said, more than the exam, it's your mindset. After five months of doing 40 hours a week of training, it changes your mindset. When I speak to my colleagues or mainly to my clients, I start talking to them about processes automatically. I'm not worried about the problem. The more I talk about the process which will address the problems, they, they start talking. They start, they start believing in me and we start speaking the same lingo. Uh, that is really an experience. It's, it's the power of repetition that becomes a habit and five months of doing the same thing over and over again is a habit it will get you motivated it gets you it gets your mind in a, the right space it gives you that control which is important and a good learning exercise from doing the cissp as you know that's why it's the gold standard certification it's there for a reason it's hard you know it it's brutal it will test you but boy it is absolutely worth it for anyone working in the security headspace or hand space or whatever you call that um i guess i hope hope you guys liked uh, this video i'm going to put all the uh, things that i've discussed down so you guys can refer all the best with the exams if you want anything please feel free to hit me up uh, either via youtube or linkedin and uh, stay safe and stay well